there you are hey guys all going hope you're well I'm just out here in the garden doing some planting my winter veggies and I'll give you guys a bit of a tour I've been out here for the last couple of weeks getting everything ready first time in a long time I'm actually planting more than I used to because my health feels so much better I've got a little more energy I've got more energy to get out of here in the garden and I'm uh, really enjoying working out here when it's not too hot here I've got these are all leeks growing there and I've got all this growing under newspaper on top and old grass clippings help to keep the oxalis at bay and other weeds and a bit of heat retention in the soil so those are those love eating leeks in winter so what I've got here I'm going to show you oh there's a pumpkin growing there crown pumpkin one there and I've got this is my first one that grew one plant and I've got two smaller ones I'm not sure if they're going to be ready ripe enough before this plant dies off I'm not too sure so I'm just digging over this bit here we had some beans before here and some tomato plants and I've just planted not planted and I've just dug in here some compost the compost bin you can see the old see the old uh, fruit tags there here shells good compost and also here's some dynamic lifter is it stuff here dynamic lifter I used to use this in Australia all the time and I was working in the gardens over there good stuff and a bit of blood and bone in there and also uh, some garden lime so I'm going to plant in here some more brassicas and uh, yep, so these are peas I'll keep planting some more of those um, tomatoes have all come up I'm going to plant some dill here, dill seeds. I'm going to grow heaps of dill here and here over winter. First time growing that here, and I didn't know why I didn't grow it before. Instead of buying that stuff. Yeah, so that dill's all part of the master plan of doing some lemon and dill seasoning and some other herbs seasoning instead of buying it all the time so I've got so I'm going to grow some dill here and I've also got some big lemon tree over here so yeah, I'm going to buy a dehumidifier no dehydrator I'm going, to, I'm going to dehydrate some lemon rind anyway so I'm going to grow some dill over here and I'll probably keep the basil in so I'm digging that over a bit later on today um, it's my jalapeno plant I've put a quite a few in the freezer I'm not really a I love jalapenos but I'm not that fuss on them on the old chilies uh, spring onions mm, this one here what do you call this one again chives a parsley plant there it's my old mouldy potatoes so I'm going to dig that up very soon because it's taking up room. I want to plant something else here. And under here I've got some cauliflower. <coughs> this cauliflower here is this one here, broccoli flower. <coughs> Top crop and it retains its yellow colouring even when cooked. Apparently, so I've got some netting over there to keep the white butterfly out and the women snails and slugs. And same thing too, newspaper and grass clippings. Recycle. Here I've got some. Uh, oops, the sun. Perpetual spinach there. 
the old greens growing for winter. Got some silver beet here. Silver beet always grows really well. And it's great for winter, good for the greens in winter. Right in here I've got some snow pea seeds. Oh, there's some coming up there, look, snow peas. Got a whole heap of them along here, gonna grow snow peas here. That's some parsley, flat leaf, some more spinach over there. And my coriander. Love eating coriander. So love coriander. Alright. And here is some dill seeds. Gonna grow some dill in here as well. It might grow that inside. Not too sure. Big rosemary. And no barrel. And also some flat leaf parsley. Yum. Also got some big puhau plant. Oh, mosquitoes. Big puhau plant there which has just dropped all its seed. The last few weeks so we'll probably get some puha there over winter. Awesome. Well our winter kai is hopefully all sorted out, most of it. So there's a tour of my garden, but before I'm gonna go I'm gonna show you this here. So I've got some cabbages, I've got a plant. And some broccoli, green midget. Yeah, I've got to plant another six of those broccoli flowers. Awesome, there's a I think there's a mosquito right there. Right, so I'm still in the garden. It's about half past four now, five o'clock, and I have planted the rest of the brassicas. Another twelve. I pulled up the uh, peas that I had. And I planted some cauliflower there instead, so have a look at this. This is a noisy plane, but... So the broccoli and the cauliflower. This lovely one here. Broccoli flower, I'll try it out, see what it's like. Right, there we go. So what I'm going to do now is just put on that netting over these. Keep that white butterfly off. Right, there you go. <coughs> Sort of done. I'll finish it off tomorrow and make it a bit more tidier. But and that should keep out white butterfly and the snails and the slugs, especially when the the heads are coming up. You get the snails in between the leaves and they poo everywhere. There you go. I'll just fix this up tomorrow. I have to tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to plant some more spring onions. Get a few more of those in the garden before it gets cool. And that's pretty much it. So. That is the end of my garden video for this week. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll keep you updated up when uh, things start growing. So it's just gone up to, what's now, the 13th of March. Somewhere in there, 14th of March. No, yeah, Black Friday today. 13th of March, so we've got a few more weeks of warm weather before it gets a bit cooler. So all the stuff should uh, get a bit of growth. And next job I'm going to do is pull up that potato, that eel, I'm going to pull that up. Probably next week. Need that spot for some other things. See? Anyway guys, we will catch you all on the next video. You will have an awesome weekend. We can relax now after doing this. Catch you guys later. Bye.